Hello and welcome to this week's Force.com cast video where we're going to talk about the new app test setup annotation that is released in Spring 15. So previously, whenever we've been writing unit tests on the platform, um, we know that it's a good practice for us to have test data created um, just once. And so often what uh, developers would do is they'd have a static block at the start of the test class and this will get called every time the test is run. So um, we're just putting a debug statement out here so that when each of our test methods run, um, it's just going to show us that this method is being called. So if we run this test now. What this will do is every time that uh, a unit test is run, or for every unit test in the class that's executed, it will call that static block for us, and uh, it will do our test data creation. So <clears throat> we might have a particular method that we're working with, um, in there, so instead of calling a debug method, it could call a setup method. And um, what we can see here is that our debug is called one, two, three, four, uh, and five times. So it's called once for every single test method that is executed. So every time that um, a new test method is run, that static block is called, meaning that the test data is recreated. So if we had, um, I don't know, 200 records being in, uh, inserted in there or another large data volume occurring, that would occur every time that a test is executed. As part of the Spring 15 release, Salesforce have added a new annotation called at test setup, which is familiar uh, and similar to Java uh, test setup uh, annotation um, and its uses as well. So. What this method does is it will execute the code within this method once uh, to do all the des uh, test data setup. Then all of your tests can run on it. Any changes that are made by that test are then uh, rolled out at the end. And what we can do is this will allow, us our, uh, allow our test to run uh, quicker and more effectively. So if we just run this code, what we can see is that our test will only run this method once, so we'll only have the debug statement come up the one time. Um, and if we do have a large volume of data that's being inserted as part of our test setup, this means it'll be a lot quicker for us. So here we have the debug created uh, called once, and then we have no more debug statements in there. So if we are using tests, this is a fantastic, uh, if we are writing tests that have uh, test setup methods, which we should be doing, or have data setup methods rather, and um, this is a much better way of uh, you know, ensuring that the data is set up only the once, um, as it means that uh, it's more of an incremental rollback rather than a full rollback. So in our original static block uh, version, that data was inserted and created, um, and all of the code that is associated with that run every time for each test method. With this, Salesforce will go in and run that test setup class once, and then create a save point. It will then effectively go through and run all the different tests, and each time that a test is run, it will roll back the changes that are made in that test only. So there's a smaller uh, delta and a smaller uh, incremental rollback. And it also means that your test will run faster as the uh, methods are, as that setup method is only executed once. So it's a great new annotation. Um, it's available from version 24 onwards. Um, so it's uh, being retrofitted and uh, it allows you to work with all of these uh, fantastic uh, uh, it's a great new annotation that allows you to have tests that run faster and more effectively. Um, you can also have multiple test setup methods in your class if you want to. However, there's no guarantee of the order in which they fire. So if you can, just try and have a single method um, and it can call out to other different methods within your class as needed.